Tammy Green's mother has never wavered. Her daughter's killer, whatever the motive, she says, should be punished to the highest level the law allows. I would like to see that person come to justice. Does it bother you that it's taken this long and so far you still? It don't bother me how long it takes. I just want them to pay for what they did. Just days after I spoke to Brenda Green in May of 2008, the victim's family thought they had reason to finally celebrate some closure. When Detroit Police Chief Ella Bully Cummings, in a hastily called press conference, said the department had identified a suspect. Strawberry, as the exotic dancer was known, had been killed in a feud between rival drug dealers and was not murdered in a scenario related to the hot topic rumor of Green dancing at the never-proven Manoogian Mansion party, being injured in an attack by Mayor Kwame Kilpatrick's wife, Carlita, and, months later, gunned down because the strippers sought hush money from the Kilpatricks. The lead cold case police detective in the case is certain the killing had no ties to the mayor. The fact is, I uncovered nothing regarding Kwame Kilpatrick's involvement in this murder. Now retired, Detroit Police Homicide Detective Mike Carlisle later confirmed that his 18 months of investigation had concluded Darrett Little D. King was the most likely suspect, that the April 30th, 2003 drive-by shooting, the attack on Strawberry's car, left her as collateral damage and not the intended target. It was an attempted assassination of the passenger, a drug dealer named Eric Mitchell. Now from state prison, behind the walls of the Macomb Correctional Facility in New Haven, Darrett King speaks of the accusation for the first time and insists he didn't do it. You say that you had nothing to do with her death. Exactly. I took lie detector tests. The victim said I didn't do it. I mean, what else could you ask for? The victim said you didn't do it. Yeah. It is the, the survivor. Yeah. Indeed, the survivor was Eric Mitchell, who was shot five times, while the driver, Tamara Green, was shot three times. She was behind the wheel, closest to the street and the drive-by vehicle. Carlisle says just how many times bullets struck the victims could be an indication that the shooter was after Mitchell and that Green was simply in the line of fire. According to police, Mitchell is King's former partner in the drug business. Are you surprised that they named you publicly, but they haven't come to you with charges? Yeah, of course. That's crazy. It tore my life to pieces with that. My family, kids, everything. King is now serving 14 to 25 years in state prison for attempted murder and other charges not related to the Green case. But for several reasons, Carlisle believes he should be charged in Green's murder. Among the elements of an arrest warrant, the white SUV that was the drive-by vehicle that night. Little D's wife was in possession of a white Lincoln Navigator. That she affirmed in a statement also. All right, that by itself doesn't mean a lot. But it's one item on a list of circumstantial evidence. The fact that King is left-handed, as was the shooter, according to witnesses. The fact that officers, first at the scene, said Mitchell told them Little D was the person that he was having problems with. And then there's the statement made by a big-time drug kingpin named Tommy Hodges, who claims Little D admitted to him he was responsible for the drive-by. And Tommy Hodges gave me a statement about Little D approaching him and told him what had occurred that night. Now, one of the things Tommy Hodges asked Little D was, well, why, what about the old girl? And the only thing Little D told him, she was in the way. Everything that Carlisle ever did uh, pertaining to me, is a dead end and it's made up everything. Every, if you look at the statements, you look at the evidence, Carlisle is just a crooked cop. And hopefully it'll come out in the, in the future. After hearing that crooked cop allegation, Carlisle said that his stellar record speaks for itself. As an officer and investigator, he was never disciplined or sanctioned, was highly decorated and respected. Officially, the Detroit Police Department says the Tamara Green murder investigation is open and active, but won't say where they are on the suspect known as Little D. Bill Proctor, Channel 7 Action News.